take the Bible in 2 King, hallelujah. Chapter 4, hallelujah, hallelujah. Chapter 4 from verse 1. verses 1 through 7 now there cried a certain woman of the wives of the sons of the prophets unto Elisha saying thy servant my husband is dead and thou knowest that thy servant did fear the Lord and the creditor is come to take unto him my two sons to be bondmen and Elisha said unto her what shall I do for thee tell me what hast thou in thine house and she said, Thine handmaid hath not anything in the house save a pot of oil. Then he said, Go borrow thee vessels abroad of all thy neighbors, even empty vessels, borrow not a few. And when thou art come in, thou shalt shut the door upon thee and upon thy sons, and thou shalt pour out into all those vessels, and thou shalt set aside that which is full. So she went from him and shut the door upon her and her sons, who brought the vessels to her and she poured out and it came to pass that when the vessels were full that she said unto her son bring me yet a vessel and he said unto her there is not a vessel more and the oil stayed then she came and told the man of God and he said go sell the oil and pay thy debt and live thou and thy children of the rest God we thank you for your word we thank you for your servant Anoint our ears to hear what the Spirit would say. I pray God confirm your word with signs following. Have your way in this place. Let the Holy Ghost do its work in Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen. 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 God bless you. You can be seated. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, hallelujah. Are you ready to receive the power of God? Oh, hallelujah. Oh, yes, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. With the help of God and grace of God. I want to preach a message entitled, Cross the Bridge. Cross the Bridge. All of us during our lives cross bridges. Amen. But I'm not talking about uh, bridges that connect one place to another place. But I'm talking about mental, psychological, and spiritual bridges. Right. Hallelujah. Which test our faith. And often, if we fail to cross, stop us from receiving the blessing or miracle that God has prepared for us. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Stop postponing. Until tomorrow or next week. Tonight, God wants you to take the blessing he has prepared for your life. Tonight is the night. Hallelujah. 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 Have you ever crossed the Tibetan or suspended bridge? Do you know what it is? The Tibetan Bridge is a connecting structure consisting uh, of a rope that serves as a sidewalk. And the two other upper lateral ropes distance about one meter from that sidewalk. The Tibetan, uh, Tibetan Bridge is uh, literally suspended in the air. Hallelujah. It seems like in Italy, they are building the world's longest bridge. It's about 800 meters. I don't know if it's 800 meters. Wow. Wow. Would you like to walk suspended in the air with ropes? For almost one kilometer? Uh -huh. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. Oh, 
obviously not because of his shape and the height, rains, winds, storms, and often clouds could hinder and slow down the crossing, which can sometimes be dangerous. Hallelujah. If today you were asked to choose between crossing a Tibet, Tibetan bridge or crossing the Brooklyn Bridge, everyone will choose the second one. Amen. It's normal. And even though the Tibetan Bridge is beautiful, there is a lot of risk involved. Amen. In many parts of the world, they are built without safety standards. And this makes the crossing dangerous. Hallelujah. The Tibetan Bridge can be crossed only by walking. Only by walking. So you cannot shelter from the wind or the storm. And the clouds often don't let you see the end of the bridge and the finish line. Hallelujah. The Brooklyn Bridge instead... A stable collapse, and uh, it has cement arches. The road is very wide and, ha and has two large garages opposite to each other. We can cross by car and be safe from the most dangerous weather. We trust the Brooklyn Bridge. Because we can see the beginning and the end of her path. Hallelujah. Do you know why we would rather choose the Brooklyn Bridge? Because today society makes us see everything we want before getting to it. Before buying something, we can know every detail for it, of it. Before arriving to a place or to a road, we can see everything thanks to our phone. We can see everything and we know everything. You can see, decide, choose and change what you want and how you want. Hallelujah. Basically, we know almost everything that is going to happen. All of this, all, all, of, all of this is wonderful. But over the years, it has definitely weakened the level of faith that the people of God need. Hallelujah. The people of God don't need to see or understand the path. Because God doesn't want us to understand. Hallelujah. He wants us to trust Him. The people of God don't need to shelter themselves from the wind or rain. Because the Bible says, when you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze. Hallelujah. 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 The people of God live by faith. And faith is that bridge between us and God. Between us and the blessing. Between us and his glory. Between us and our miracle this night. Hallelujah. 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 This, is, this is why this night we have to cross the Tibetan Bridge together. Oh, hallelujah. Maybe somebody is already on the other side. Maybe somebody has stopped halfway from crossing. Maybe somebody went back. Hallelujah. But I want to tell you something. Today is the day. Today is the day to cross the bridge. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. To cross your bridge. Hallelujah. Maybe someone is thinking, Brother Platania, after the service, I'm going to buy new hiking shoes or professional clothes, a mountain backpack, and other tools to cross the bridge. No, 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 no. We don't need special tools or special clothes because God, hallelujah, has already given us a white garment yeah. and powerful instrument, which is the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Oh, we don't need other tools. We have the power of God. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. The woman that we... Read about in Second Kings, didn't have special thing, but her obedience to the man of God, her determination, her total surrendering, and her patience were the tools she needed to change the future of her family, and she got to the other side of the bridge. Yeah. Hallelujah! Patience. Determination, surrendering, obedience. Hallelujah. 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 We read about this woman, this woman, while she, she was crossing the bridge of her life, suddenly came rain and wind. The husband dies. Hallelujah. Try to imagine the pain. And the desperation of this woman who is now alone with two children. Hallelujah. Try to imagine. Hallelujah. This shaking bridge she now needs to cross. Hallelujah. Imagine the fear of this woman. Hallelujah. Imagine the fear of this woman. Hallelujah. But, but wait a minute. It's not over yet. The husband had left the debt and the creditors were talking her children as the redemption prize. Wow. Oh, hallelujah. What terrible condition. Try to picture this. You are alone. Suspended in the air. Hallelujah. In the middle of the Tibetan bridge. Surrounded by a storm. Nothing she could do to pay the debt and get her children back. Hallelujah. 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 In the darkest moment of her life, in the middle of the bridge, alone, desperate, under pressure, she does something smart. Listen. She doesn't go back to the beginning of the bridge. She doesn't go back from where she started. She doesn't jump off the bridge. She doesn't give up. No, she stands still at the point where God took her and immediately asked Elisha for help. Elisha, she said, my husband was your servant. Help me. Oh, Elisha, I remember when, when my husband would come home and tell me the miracles that God had done. Of the prophetic words that God had given to his people. When my husband came home excited about the presence of God, he felt, hallelujah. Elisha, I know that you can help me because God does not abandon his children in the middle, oh, in the middle of the bridge, in the middle of the storm. Elisha. Elisha, listen to me. I want to get at the end of the bridge and take the blessing that God has prepared for me. 
Elisha, I don't want and can't give up. Tell me what I need to do. Oh, I don't know your situation in this night, but if you believe that God has abandoned you in the middle of the storm, I want to tell you that this is a lie of the enemy. Because my God does not abandon his children. But my God wants to take your hands tonight. And wants to take yourself to the end of the bridge. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Elisha asked, what do you have? She answered, a pot of oil. Collect the empty vessels and not the few. Take them home. Shut the door and pour the oil into each one of the vases. Hallelujah. The woman did everything Elisha told her. And when the last vessels was filled, Hallelujah. The oil stopped. Hallelujah. The woman sold the oil and with the proceeds paid the debt. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When the woman was in the middle of the storm, in the middle of his hair bridge, and the clouds had covered her side, she couldn't find a solution. But when she addressed to Elisha, everything changed. And she discovered that the solution to her problem was right at her house. Hallelujah. At her house. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When we are in the middle of the storm, church, we are afraid. When we are under pressure, often... Our solution is the wrong one. Often we decide to go back at the beginning of the bridge. Or maybe jump off the bridge. Hallelujah. We look everywhere for a solution. When the solution is at our house. But it is that very moment. That we must raise our, our eyes, hallelujah, to the heavens and say, Oh God, oh God, I remember when you delivered me from the chains of sin. Oh God, I remember when you showed yourself to me. Oh, for the first time with your sweet presence and changed my life. Oh God, I remember when you redeemed me and filled me with your Holy Spirit and changed my name. Oh God, I know your power and your glory. Give me a solution because I want to get to the end of the bridge. I want to get to my miracle. I want to get to my solution. I want to get to my blessing. Oh, hallelujah. 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 And it is right at this moment that God will remove the clouds from your eyes or your eyes and you will start seeing what you didn't see before. Right at the moment, you will remember that in a corner of your house, listen to me, in a corner of your house, maybe inside a drawer or a closet, hallelujah, maybe full of dust, there is that path of oil, hallelujah, that you have forgotten. 
but that is still filled with the power of God. That vessel can and still wants to change your situation. Oh, the beginning of our problems most of the time starts from our house. Hallelujah. But the solution is the solution is at our house as well. Maybe somebody here is asking, okay, we have found the path of home, but where are the vessels? Where are the vessels? The Bible says that we are the vessels in his hands, and God is the great potter. Every day he works in us. So that we can become vases of honor. We are the vase, the church. Church, we are the vase. Hallelujah. I, I don't know how long you haven't filled your vase. But tonight you have the possibility to be filled with the presence of the Holy Ghost. You need to be filled with his power because if, doesn't, if this doesn't happen, your situation doesn't change in any. You need the Holy Ghost. You need the power of Holy Ghost this night. We need the power of Holy Ghost. Yes. Elisha. Told the human to get many vessels and to shut the door of the house. The number of the vessels represent every time we surrender to God in our home by coming intimate with God in prayer. Hallelujah. The Bible says that David prayed. Three times a day. Hallelujah. Daniel prayed three times a day. The secret of Hannah, the mother of Samuel, was that she prayed prolonged prayers to God. And due to this, she had the miracle and gave birth. How do you pray? How do you pray? How many times a day do you pray? How many times do you allow your vessel to be filled with the path of oil? Oh. Do you bring your empty vase? Ready to surrender? Or do you bring it full of your ideas, opinions, or simple full of yourself? Hallelujah. 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 Or maybe uh, you have surrendered to the storm. Place the path of the closed, and you no longer want, want to cross the bridge of faith, the bridge of blessing, or the bridge of the miracle. What is your condition in this place, this night? What is my condition? A real condition. Your real condition. No church condition. No Bible, Bible condition. Your real condition. I want you to tell, I want to tell to you something this evening. In this evening, 
If you need a miracle, if you need your miracle, come on, today is the day. Yeah, stand up. If you need a miracle, stand up and come on in this altar because today is the day. If you have been asking God for something for a long time, oh, come on, today is the day of the answer. Hallelujah. Today is the day. The part where you left it, it has not lost its power. It has not lost the will to fill your vessel. It's just waiting to be taken. If you need the Holy Ghost, come. Today is the day. Today is the day. Cross the bridge. Cross your bridge. Today is the day. Surrender yourself to God and bring your vessel. And bring your vessel. Don't surrender to the storm. Cross the bridge. Get at the finish line and take the blessing that God wants to give to you. Hallelujah. There is a great blessing to the other side. Don't stop. Stand up. Stand up. And cross the bridge. Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. I need to cross the bridge this evening. And you need to cross the bridge. Right now. Today is the day for your miracle. Today is the day to change your situation. God is here and won't change your situation, your life. God changed my life many times. Oh, hallelujah. And He's here. And He wants to take your hands. And He wants to bring to you all the sun. Cross the bridge. Right now. Hallelujah. Right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Maybe you need the power of the Holy Ghost in your life right now. God, move your spirit, God, in this place. Maybe you need speaking down. Today is the day. Wednesday is the day. Cross the bridge, brother. Cross the bridge, sister. Come on, worship the Lord and cross the bridge. And cross the bridge.
wonder how many tonight, I wonder how many tonight, right now, you have something specific on your heart that while he was preaching that God dealt with you that you need God to work on. There's, there's hands all over. Keep it, raise your hand up high. We've heard from the Lord. God's dealt with your heart by faith to receive the word. Amen. I want you to pray for somebody close to you, especially if their hand's up. I want you to pray for somebody close to you. And I want you to begin to believe and declare the blessings of God. That God sent His Spirit and His Word for a reason. In the name of Jesus. That's right. I want you to begin to pray. Lift your voice and begin to pray. While they're getting ready to sing again. God's getting ready to do something in this place. The hand of God's getting ready to move on some of these impossibilities and these situations and circumstances.
thank you, Lord. God, I praise you. God, I worship you, Lord Jesus. God, I pray for your strength. I pray, God, for your help. in Jesus' name. Amen. And that one decision can help you cross your bridge. That would be an awesome thing to happen tonight. Amen. Do, haven't you felt the presence of the Lord here tonight? Amen. Come here, Brother Platinum. Amen. I, I've, I've had the privilege of being in his church. He is in one of the largest cities in Europe. A city that the that is wholly given over to idolatry. It is the seat of one of the most idolatrous religions there is in the world. And it, it has a stranglehold on that city. But God loved that city so much almost 2,000 years ago that he put Paul in prison on a ship so he would get to Rome so Rome could hear the gospel. That's how much that God loves the city of Rome. And God still loves the city of Rome. Brother Platania's entire building, the sanctuary, the restroom, and the little office, the entire building would fit on this platform. In a city of how many people? How many million people? Five million people. The apostolic church would fit on this platform. But you know what? When they have church, the Holy Ghost moves. And God touches hearts. God touches lives. And we get to be a part of the beginning of a great work in the city of Rome. Isn't that awesome? Isn't that great? We get to be a part of what God's getting ready to send to the city of Rome. And I'm excited about what's getting ready to happen. Praise God. This, this man and his family works tirelessly. They work nonstop. If God's laying it on your heart to be a blessing to the church in Rome, if God's laying on your heart to be a financial blessing, then you feel free to bless this man of God tonight. And if you want to be a part, a partner with the church in Rome on a monthly basis, if you'll just put on your, on your envelope for the church in Rome, we'll forward it to the World Missions Department. Amen. It's hard to get started. It's hard to get started when you're by yourself, but they're not by themselves. All right. We're getting ready to pray one more time. Brother Platania's wife has been stricken with a terrible sickness, terrible allergy. She can't eat off silverware. She has to carry her own plasticware. There's so many foods she can't eat. Uh, she, could not, she could not come because of the sickness that she has. She couldn't come on this trip. We're going to believe God. We're going to pray right now, and we're going to believe God to touch Sister Platania tonight with a miracle, that we can cross that bridge with the miracle. How many is going to help me pray right now? Lord, in Jesus' name, we plead your blood over the body of Sister Platania and against these allergies and this sickness. By the authority of your word and the power of your name, God, we thank you for healing virtue to raise her up and to heal her body. Lord, in the name of Jesus, for your glory and for your work's sake, God, we believe you to move for this family, for this church, for the city of Rome. God, anoint this family to do your work. In the name of Jesus, we plead your blood over this church, over this ministry, over this work, and over this family. And God, we declare it in Jesus' name. And everybody said? 
Amen. Be sure to let Brother Platania know how much you love him. How many have enjoyed meeting my friend, Brother Platania? God bless you Sunday morning. Let's have Holy Ghost Revival.